Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how you can pack even more information into a worksheet or a dashboard. The information that I'm using today is a data set I downloaded from Kegel, uh, Kegel.com and it is Kickstarter pledge information. And I've created this chart, worldwide chart, that shows where the pledges are coming in. And I've added a tool tip, pretty basic. Uh, the U.S. had $2.8 uh, billion, $113 million, $59 million. Pretty run-of-the-mill. Not that exciting. It doesn't give us a sense for how much, um, how it compares to the, pl the goal, how it compares to the different... Uh, statuses, was it successful, was it a failure, whatever. Now, we could have the user go to another screen, another worksheet or dashboard, but I want to keep them here. And now we can with this tooltip. So here we are, we're in the tooltip. Come under insert. You've all come down here and looked at these fields and added these fields. You may have overlooked sheets. You can actually add a sheet, and we're going to do that here. Pledge versus um, pledge versus goal. So now, when you scroll over, you see Mexico. How much it was pledged? The different categories. Of course, this is all on another worksheet, and how much was successful? The percentages, what the bars are. Now, let me flip to the bar real quick. The this sheet. Up in the top, below the, the title, you see a little bit more explanation about what the bar is and what the, the line is. I'm going to just edit that. I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to come back. And I want to add that same information and make it a little bit smaller. Now as we scroll over, you can see how much was pledged in total. You can see that the goal was the line. So obviously on the successful campaigns, uh, they pledged, they received more pledges than the goal. On the failed campaigns and on the campaigns that were canceled, the dollars funded or pledged did not reach the goal, which makes sense. And that's pretty consistent with everywhere you go. Now I want to show you one, oh, I thought I had it right there. I want to show you one other thing. This was an easy one. Look over here to tooltips. Get rid of that. Get rid of that text as well. This is sheets. This is goals by year. May not make a lot of sense. Okay, now you're seeing there's a message at the bottom that says view is too large to show. So let's fix that. Come over to the tooltips. You see the maximum width is 300. Maximum height is 300. Let's change that to 600 on the maximum width. Let's see if that, that shows all of them. Here's a chart that's very similar. You'll see that we have pie charts now instead of total shading. I know people don't like pie charts, just bear with me, I'm trying to illustrate a point here. Now if we hover over, we show just the successful country, or just the successful um, information, or the failed information. That's not quite what we want. We want to see all of the country's information, regardless if it was successful, failed, or um, canceled. So we're going to come back over here to the tooltip, open that up, and now we're going to be looking under filter, instead of where it says all fields, we want to change that so it just says country. Okay, click OK. Now as we scroll over, you'll see all the different statuses of a project. And once again, you can see the view is too large to show. So we'll come over back over to Tooltip. We'll change the width to 600. That's just a good starting point for me. Click OK. 
And now, now the first time I showed this to you, we had the statuses restricted to just a couple. But since we're only filtering on the country, it's going to show all the statuses. There's even a little one right here. There we go, Singapore. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.